Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here we'll see how to make this beautiful counter app or this timer app where it counts down automatically. So let's get started. First over here, we created a class. The class name is a timer controller and we are going to use getx to do that. So we extend getx controller. And then over here, we, are, we have an object which is a timer object. And at the same time, because we are counting down to seconds, to the last moment so over here we declared a variable which is called remaining seconds and we also defined a variable which is called time now this time variable is observable which means this is reactive which also means that we can call this time this variable from our ui and we'd see that the changes happens as the time changes well after that over here we have this on ready method so we want to start our timer first time when our UI gets loaded at the same time as our controller gets loaded. So that's why we have this onReady method and inside this we also have a function which is called start timer and we are passing certain value to it and we are passing 900. You can pass anything to it. Of course this function doesn't exist so let's go ahead and create it. So this is our start timer function. It takes integer seconds as its parameter as you can see and over here we are getting a duration object because in our timer.period function, we need one. But anyway, whatever the functions, whatever the time we are sending, first we save it to a variable, which is called remaining seconds, because from this one, we would be counting down. And then we call this timer period. Now timer period takes two parameters. One is duration, the one that we created early, and then it takes a callback function. So this is our callback function. Now, this is a callback function that gets called automatically once you call this timer period. Now, as it gets called automatically later on, first we check if the remaining time is equal to zero. If it's zero, that means we have counted down to zero. At that time, we cancel the timer. It's very important that you cancel the timer. Otherwise, we do some stuff. What do we do? The remaining seconds we divide it by 60 using this special math operator. So all it does is whatever the remaining number, the integer, we get it and we save it in this variable, we call it minute. And after decimal, whatever remains, we save it in a variable which is called seconds. And then we save this two value together in this our time variable which is observable which we declared at the top early. As it goes through loop or every one second later it gets called, we reduce minus one from it. If you set it to three over here, this timer period function would get called every three seconds later and then it will deduct it. Deduct what? Minus one each time. Now it's good practice to cancel the timer if you leave your page or UI or screen. So that's why over here we are overriding on close method and inside this we check if we have a timer then go ahead and cancel it now since we are using getx over here first we inject the controller which is called timer controller and right after this we have this ui home page and inside this ui we have shape decoration and stadium decoration to make our ui look cool and after that because we are using getx and we have this observable variable over here which is obs type that's why we are using obx now inside this obx, we are accessing controller, that observable variable, which is time and its value. And do remember, you have to inject your controller somehow. And over here, we are using get view. So with get view, actually, we are getting the controller and controller instance. This is the instance name. As we can access the instance, then we can get the observable variable, which is time and its value. Now let's take a look, restart our app. So we started from here and then it's counting down automatically. Anyway, so if you have any question, leave a comment below. Thank you.